There are several different reasons why your dog could be licking their lips more often than normal. Some of the causes are really serious. Make no mistake, today I'm talking about one of the biggest impactors on your pet's quality of life. So let's jump into it. Welcome to the Call the Vet Show, the podcast that helps keep your furry family as healthy as possible so they can live the full and happy life they deserve. And here's your host, veterinarian, Dr. Alex Avery. Hello out there and welcome to the 81st episode of the Call the Vet Show. I'm veterinarian Dr. Alex and I've got a short, sharp episode for you. It might not be the most sexy topic. It might be not be one that you've thought too much of, but really it's one that has massive importance. And it discusses one of the most common conditions that I see every single day in my consult room as a practicing small animal veterinarian. In fact, it's so common and so important that it's included as one of the top conditions for you to avoid so that your pet's health can truly be optimized and they can live the full and happy life that they deserve. You can find out more about this topic, but also the four other ones in my free guide, Pet Health Essentials, simply by heading over to ourpetshealth.com. So make sure you grab that free guide. But for now, let's jump into today's question. Hi, my name's Gloria. One of my pet's name is Bella. She's nearly eight. On two occasions, a year ago, and prior to that, three years ago, she has had quite a number of teeth removed. At this time, she is licking her lips a lot. I'm not quite sure what's happening, but if any advice can be given, that would be great. I'm not sure whether it's her teeth or whether anything else is wrong. She's still eating and appears quite happy, apart from licking her lips all the time. Thank you. So thanks for that question, Gloria. And hopefully with this answer, we can help get to the bottom of whatever is causing your dog to lick their lips more than normal. And there are a number of different reasons why dogs lick their lips. So the first and probably the most common that I come across in the vet clinic is dental disease. So dental disease is really painful and a dog licking their lips is a way of trying to alleviate that pain. If we've got a sore tooth, we'll often find ourselves playing with that tooth with our tongue and our dogs are no different. So dental disease absolutely causes a lot of pain. Even a dog who's eating well can still have significant dental disease. And one thing that I'll often say is that dogs and cats, they don't know that if their teeth hurt and they stop eating, they're going to be taken to the vet to fix their problem. All they know is that they need to eat to survive. So just imagine how painful they need to be to stop eating with advanced dental disease. We don't want to let it get left until that point that they stop eating. So how can we tell if a dog or a cat has dental disease? Well, the first thing you can do is lift up their lip and have a look. If you're seeing a lot of thick tartar, so that's those thick yellow brownie deposits on the teeth, then there is a good chance that there is advanced dental disease present. It can though be quite difficult to tell because the disease can be hidden underneath that tartar or actually we can get some situations where there isn't very much tartar but there is a serious lesion underlying thing. So the only way to be absolutely sure that a pet doesn't have advanced dental disease is under anaesthetic to have them cleaned up and have the teeth probed. Clearly, though, if the teeth look completely clean, there's recently been a dental procedure carried out, then it's unlikely that that's going to be the case. And we need to look for other causes. So other causes of lip licking in dogs can include other oral lesions. So that could be masses in the mouth, tumours. It could be a foreign body, so a stick that's penetrated and got stuck at some point in the mouth. A common place would be actually in the top of the mouth, at the wedge between the back teeth. We'll often get sticks or bones wedged in that area that can cause uh, cause lip licking. You'll also normally get kind of lots of salivation with that uh, and rubbing their mouth as well, but that's not always the case. And then another reason for lip licking that involves the mouth can be lip fold 
dermatitis or lip fold pyoderma. So this is more common in breeds like the Cocker Spaniel, um, Bloodhound, St. Bernard's, um, Sharp Hayes, Neapolitan Mastiff, Bulldogs, those dogs that have those folds. It's often in that bottom lip, kind of on the side of their mouth. And what happens here is that skin, it stays moist with saliva and that causes inflammation and then infection of that tissue, which can be really irritating. And so your dog is again licking their lips. You'll often find that they rub their face in these situations as well, but not always. The next big cause of lip licking in dogs is nausea. So a dog who feels nauseous, who feels sick, is going to lick their lips. Now, they're not always actually vomiting or retching, but it could be that they're just a little bit nauseous. So don't take the fact that they're not vomiting as a sign that they're not feeling sick. Normally, dogs that are feeling nauseous, they're not going to have as good as an appetite as normal. So if your dog is eating really well, um, they've got a really good appetite, it's less likely that they're going to be nauseous. And other things that you might see are drooling as well. So when an animal feels nauseous, and it's the same with us, they start producing more saliva. So that can show up as your dog drooling more. And then the final big cause of lip licking in dogs is nerves and fear. So it's a behavioural sign that they could be experiencing these emotions. Other signs of fear, anxiety and stress in dogs include looking at their ear and tail position. So are their ear, is the ear flat against their head? Is their tail tucked under their body? Are they trembling a little bit? Are they pacing and not really settling? Are they trying to hide? Are their eyes wide open? So you're seeing a lot of the whites of their eyes. If those things are also the case, then it's likely that your dog is stressed, anxious or fearful. So a short, sharp episode today, but really dental disease is massively underappreciated. The impact that it could have on your pet is huge. Now, clearly, Gloria's dog might not have dental disease. There are a number of other potential causes, as I've just discussed, but it is the most common about 80% of dogs and cats over the age of three have some form of dental disease present. Now, that might only be a little bit of tartar that's not causing a huge problem, but there's an inevitability that that will get worse as they age. With certain dogs, certain breeds of dog, it's going to be worse. So our small breed dogs are especially bad, our brachycephalics, our squash-nosed dog breeds, and the same goes for cats as well. So don't ignore your pet's dental disease or the potential that they might have dental disease. And as I said at the very beginning dental disease is just one of the top five ways that you can help prevent the most common conditions in your pet that they might suffer from in their life and that will have the biggest impact for the least amount of effort in optimizing their health their happiness and their quality of life so make sure you check out that free guide pet health essentials by simply checking out the show notes or heading over to ourpetshealth.com and until next time i'm dr alex this is the call the vet show take care Thanks for listening to Call the Vet. For full show notes and any links mentioned in today's show, head over to callthevet.org, where you can also submit your question to be featured on an upcoming episode. We'll see you next time.